Hello guys and welcome, it is uh, SRB2Dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video. Now the gameplay in the background is going to be two ranked games, one in Tower Control, which is the one being shown right now, and one in Rainmaker. Uh, the one in Tower Control right now, is, you know, we're going to be playing in Starfish Main Staged, and in Rainmaker it's going to be Humpback Pump Track, so... Yeah, Tower Control, we're both also going to be using the Aerospray in both of these gameplays, and you know, I felt like this would be a good time to actually talk about uh, the game types in general, and uh, I guess the, I mean, I guess give my, a, a bit of a review of the new Tower Control in Splatoon 2, so, Tower Control in Splatoon 2, I do really enjoy it, mainly because it's just like you got those checkpoints, and it's more of a game where you got to be a little bit more organized, you got to be, you know, you'll get rewarded to be able to push the tower to a certain amount. And uh, basically, the, what the checkpoints do is that it'll test your skill in how well you can actually hold the tower in one position. So, teams are going to be a little bit organized, they're going to have to know how to set up on a specific map and how to adapt into certain situations. And I also do really like it for the opposing team as well, because basically... If you're being, I mean, if basically, if you're on a team and you are completely wiped by the enemy team, in Splatoon 1, they would have already pushed a tower to maybe like 50 points and it'll just be like, well, I can't really do anything now because it's, it's really hard to come back from a 50 point victory or something like that. But the Splatoon 2, the, it gives you the chance to actually come back. It, it gives you the chance to actually stop uh, the push that's happening on the enemy side. And in somewhat, it can actually make the tower control games a much longer, much more interesting, and there's a lot more strategy that actually goes into tower control now. And I do really enjoy that with uh, how Splatoon 2 has done it. I think the devs, I mean, the devs in particular really are listening to what the community wants and actually how to, you know, improve their game types in general. But that first game, I did really well, got about 16 splats and assists. And uh, now we are going to be moving on to Rainmaker. Now, a little bit about this Rainmaker game. This actually was my very first uh, ranked game. Like, I had not played any ranked, mainly because uh, when you, of course, get an early copy, you only get paired up with a bunch of media and a bunch of reviewers. And, you know, there isn't really too many people to play, you know, play with. So anytime I would go and rank, there will just be no one there. It's completely deserted. But... This game in particular, there are going to be a lot of splats and kills that I am going to acquire. I'm also using the Aerospray again. I must say the Aerospray from Splatoon 2 is pretty insane, not gonna lie. Uh, it's probably a lot better than uh, the one in Splatoon 1 by by far. Also, we are also playing on Humpback Pump Track. I feel like the route is pretty interesting. And, you know, there's just... There's, it's a huge massacre. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, in my very first ranked game, it was a complete massacre of what was actually happening. Um, but I guess one thing I could talk about is how Rainmaker is right now. I really do enjoy this game type and I do enjoy the changes that it has now. If any team was to drop the Rainmaker in a certain position and the Rainmaker is just left alone for all there for a really long time, uh, the Rainmaker will actually spawn back into the middle, which is pretty interesting. So it's just that you can't, like, people can't uh, camp the Rainmaker in a certain position. And if they have pushed the Rainmaker to a certain amount, it's not just a stalemate game. It's because, you know, you have to pick it up and keep the Rainmaker moving, which is really nice. And, of course, the devs got to give them to them. They did a great job of doing that and making Rainmaker a lot more fast-paced, a lot more movement base and it's just like you have to pick it up if you want some stuff to do also we can talk about the, how the rainmaker works in splatoon 2 uh, instead of the tornado the big huge tornado in splatoon 1 it's a little bit different you actually shoot uh, a large ball and basically once that ball is or that ball touches a wall it will basically explode a second later which is Pretty interesting. There's a lot of different things that I've been able to do with it. I'll be able to explain that in the future. Also, I would like to announce something from about four hours from now. Uh, I will be doing a Splatoon 2 live stream. Uh, it's only going to be 30 minutes long because I'm only allowed to do it for 30 minutes, unfortunately. I wish I could do it longer, but it's just how, I mean, it's just how things work. 
But the thing is, it's going to be a private battle with some h competitive players uh, that all got the game early. Uh, some of them are streamers as well, such as like Soren and Kaiva. Um, but basically, we're going to be swapping streams around. We're going to be doing half an hour on one stream, half an hour on the next, half an hour on the next. So we have like at least an hour and a half of competitive Splatoon gameplay. So I shall see you then in about four hours. But yeah, this is pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As you can see, I did get 25 splats in my very first ranked game. Pretty interesting. I just kind of hosed down the media and I'm not going to big myself up because it's just, you know, it's people who probably have not even, never even touched Splatoon before. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude. And I shall see you guys in a future video.